everybody, Mary to Katie K here, coming to you with a new, I guess a series, things I'll do every once in a while, kind of replacing my favorites with, and I stopped using this because, and this will just feature products that I've received in giveaways, products that I've had for a while, just have not used in a while, and I'm trying to figure out why I stopped using them because they're awesome. So let's jump right into it. The first couple of things that I have been using, I received in a giveaway from Miss Linus the Mrs. Hey, Linus the Mrs. And she sent me a bunch of Avon products. So I pretty much used them all, but I was scared to use this sponge right here because I've seen people use it and I just did not think I would like it, but I really do like it. This is the Avon's um, version of the Beauty Blender sponge. I don't know the official name for it, but it's awesome tastic. I did use this in a face of the day video for my anniversary. And I will put a link to that video below. If it's not already up, it will be up very, very soon. And I really, really like it. It does everything people have been saying that it's doing, going to do for years. And I don't know that I will go back to a brush. I really like that sponge. The next thing she sent me was this Moisture Effects Avon Eye Makeup Remover Lotion. Um, what made me go ahead and try this is Queen Mika had this, and she talked about some eye makeup removers. And, um... I don't know it's a lotion this is not gonna work I don't know but you know what this she made me an Avon customer with this Linus the missus has made me an Avon customer again whenever I run out of this I'm getting another bottle if they have a bigger size I want the biggest size they have this stuff is phenomenal if you have not tried it don't sleep on this Avon product right here definitely get your makeup off I'm talking about just a little bit rub it all over your brows into the lashes everything adhesive all that comes off this stuff is the bomb the next thing that I have had for a while and just have not used is this e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder here. Um, I'm almost out of it and when I get done with it, I'm just going to use it to refill um, refill it with my e.l.f. Regular High Definition Powder. And I'm going to buy another thing of this and keep them both in my weekly makeup kit. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link to my makeup storage below. I really like this because it has some shimmer to it, but you guys know before I put on my foundation, I only put concealer here, a little bit here, and then a little bit here, but I set my concealer here with the e.l.f. HD powder, and here recently I've been using this because that e.l.f. HD powder is so big, it takes up so much space in my weekly makeup kit that I can't put other stuff in there to try. So I've just been using this, I figured I'd use this up, I, I didn't think I would like it, I got it for free um, from e.l.f. in like a giveaway or something. Maybe they, I think it was, I ordered some stuff and this was part of their package deal where you got this too. And I was like, I'm not going to try that. But I really like it. Been sleeping on this for years. Never used it. Glad I have it. I'm almost out and I'm getting sad about it. But I just pack it on. I do not blend it out. I pack it on. I put my foundation on. And even using it with this sponge, oh my goodness, when I softly, it was worked better than the brush because... Usually when I put the brush over, I have to, you know, I, I just basically take away all the work I just did. But this I was able to lightly apply. So you see my highlight is super beat to capacity, honey. These two together, baby, I cannot wait to try with the regular Elf HD powder. But these two together, you can't miss. You can't miss, okay. All right, next thing from Elf. Never tried it until I tried this today with this sponge. It is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I don't need a setting spray. This was also a free gift through e.l.f. Like, I'm, you know, we know how they have those. You spend 20 bucks and then you put in, you know, Dreamy and they put it together, a Dreamy package. This was something like that. They put this in there with that and some other stuff. And I never used it. Never used it because I don't need a setting spray. I'm serious. When I say my makeup stays on, it really does stay on. Um, and I owe that to my primers and my my routine and everything it works for me so my makeup stays on i don't have any issues with creasing rarely but everything is good so i never thought i would use this to mist and set but i use this to dampen my sponge before applying the foundation the bomb the bomb new staple for me the next two things are also from elf and this is the elf professional eye crease brush and then this is the elf smudge sponge I don't know why I stopped using these brushes. This is basically the best pencil brush I own. Phenomenal. I've had this brush for years. I've only had to glue the top part of it back on. The same brush. And it's 
one dollar well spent it carves that crease if you want to do a cut crease if you want to just do something underneath the eye it's perfect this smudger works great for smudging eyeliner or applying underneath the eye especially in glitter liners this is good i'm going to buy another one of these just for my glitter liners i create don't know why i stopped using these the next thing is also from Elton. No, not really. It's not. The next thing is a foundation. And this is my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. I'm a number 11 cappuccino. Um, I had been using another foundation. I want to say my color stay. And it was too dark for me because I'm getting I'm back to my color now from the summer being over. And so I had to stop using that. And I picked this up and I was like, I think it's going to be too light. But I forgot how blendable this Revlon Photo Ready is. And I love that I don't need a lot. One pump is it. I used a pump and a half today just because I had that sponge and I was playing with it. But now that I know what I'm doing with the sponge, a pump will be enough. Love this. Love this. Don't know why I stopped using it. The next things I, um, I guess, I, I'm only going to show you one, but I'll insert pictures of everything else that I got, is Bath and Body Works. I know you guys are like, what? Bath and Body Works, guys. I don't know why. I'm serious. I have not purchased... Or received like body sprays and stuff as a gift in a hot minute and I had so many because Victoria's Secrets in my area was going out of business so I had bought up so much stuff I didn't need anything and I pretty much used all those up um, my last time I bought something I want to say my son was maybe two and he's five so now I needed to get some stuff and BH Cosmetics had a phenomenal sale with like the secret 40% off coupon and I got some buy three, get three free, and two for 22 candles, and I went in there and maybe spent like $40, $50 and got so much stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I'm set. I don't have to buy no more body splashes for a minute. And I'm not big on seasonal fragrances. I'm not worried about the seasonal stuff. I like the staples. And honestly, I ordered, I went in store and got some stuff. Then I went online and ordered the online only scents. I do highly suggest if you have not, try the online only scents. Um, I'll put a link to the list that those that are online exclusive below. And I own most of them and they smell great so you're missing out you are missing out if you don't have the online only stuff the next two things that i have not been using but i'm using now are my lip palettes the first one being the bh cosmetics 32 color lip palette yours does not have to be bh cosmetics we all know it's the same lip palette that you get from ebay honey everybody knows that you can get yours from bh ebay um, I got this last year for Christmas. I bought two of them. One for me, one is a gift. Um, because I think the price I ended up paying for this was like maybe $3 with the coupons and specials they were running last, um, I think Black Friday or something like that. And these are phenomenal. One thing I can say is people expect that these to be glosses. This is not. These are lip sticks. These are lip sticks, um, not glosses. So most of these are opaque. They're opaque, so you have to be mindful of that if you're expecting this to be a gloss palette. It is not, but I really like it, and this is staying in my weekly makeup kit. Then my other one I have, you know, I kept some of the colors, and I created my own. This is my True Love Lips Palette. I'll put a link to the video below of how I customize this palette for my liking, but that's this right here. I got this from eBay. I want to say it was $3, 3 or 4 at the most. And this has humongous sized lip glosses, well, lip sticks actually. And I keep this in a Ziploc bag, okay, because it's in the summertime in Texas. So I didn't want it to melt all of my, my little nice handbags that I wear. I keep it in the side of a Ziploc bag in my makeup bag. And this is the only lip products and a, um, what, uh, maybe one or two glosses I keep in my purse. Because this has so many colors, I can create something to match whatever I was already wearing. Last two things I use in conjunction with each other. They're certainly not the least two things, but they are a hand, uh, well, actually a body butter from Payless, and this is called Charmed. So this is a Charmed body butter, and I got this during Payless's BOGO. They had all of these marked down to a dollar. Mmm, smells so good. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And they had all these marked down to a dollar, and I picked up two of them so I, they were 75 cents each and I got charmed in another fragrance I brought it home I mix this with um, some coconut oil and a little bit of melted shea butter whipped it back up and I use this every 
night. I take my shower or sometimes I'll just use it if I already showered earlier in the day. I will use it on my hands and my feet, put my socks on and go to bed. I use it in conjunction with, with whatever cuticle oil I'm using for the week. Um, my nail videos, if they're not up, they'll be up soon where you'll see my haul. And you know, guys, well, you don't know, but I'm doing my own acrylics now. So like, this is my set for this week. And I do have a video coming up with um, showing you guys what I'm doing to my nails and how I'm doing them. I just can't, I haven't recorded a tutorial because I'm still trying to figure out how to do that setup. But eventually I will. Um, so this is my nail cuticle oil of the week, Cranberry. I store my cuticle oils in little spray bottles because that's the most sanitary way. So that way if I do do a client's nails, which my clients will mainly be my family and very close friends, um, do do their nails. I don't like to dip in the bottle and rub it on their cuticles. I just don't because I got a horrible fungus from the nail shopping. That's why, you'll hear all that in the other video. So that's why I started re doing my acrylics again. So I just spray the cuticle oil, massage it in, come back in with my Charmed Body Butter, rub that on my hands. I do the same thing to my toes, cuticle oil, rub it in, rub my feet, put my socks on, go to bed. Or I would just use it straight out the shower. Same thing, cuticle oil on the cuticles, body butter on the body, and it's phenomenal together. So I don't know why I waited so long to use this because I got this not in the most recent BOGO, the BOGO before the BOGO, before that BOGO. Had this most of the year and never touched it. So glad I did. And I'm almost out with that now. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tell me below what are some products. I honestly do a video, can't do a video response. If you do do a video showing some products that you're wondering why you ever stopped using them, please put that um, link to me in a message let me know what you have going on, okay, and what I could be missing out on, all right? But check your stash. It's kind of like my own shop your stash slash favorites. And I'll be incorporating these along with my mommy favorites, just trying to change it up and spice it up for my um, third year on the YT coming up. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.